all right you are welcome again today let's talk about a limit let's take a look at this question evaluate the limit lim as x approaches zero cos mx minus cos nx all over x squared we are asked to evaluate this limit lim as x approaches zero cos mx minus cos nx all over x squared now please pay attention now let's take a look at this question very well now in trigonometry whenever we have something like cos mx minus cos nx how are we going to solve it we are going to use the formula cos a minus cos b what will it give us now whenever we have something like cos a minus cos b it's the same thing as saying minus 2 sine a plus b all over 2 times sine a minus b all over 2 hello whenever we have cos a minus cos b is the same thing as say minus 2 sine a plus b all over 2 times sine a minus b all over 2. So in this place, we are going to uh, call mx to be a. I'm going to say let mx be called letter a and nx be called letter b. You get it? So if we say so, that means we are going to have cos a minus cos b and then it's going to give us limit as x approaches zero minus two sine mx plus nx all over two times sine mx minus nx all over two all over x squared is that true yes now let's take this minus 2 outside you know this minus 2 is still the same thing as saying sine mx plus nx all over 2 times sine mx minus nx all over 2 times minus 2 right good now let's take this minus 2 outside that means we're going to have minus 2 limit as x approaches 0 sine mx plus nx all over 2 times sine mx minus nx all over 2 all over x squared please pay attention from here this place we have sine mx plus nx all over 2 let's factor out x when we factor out x that means we're going to have sine m plus n all over 2 in bracket x is that true yes so as we factor out x we have m plus n all over 2 x and then in this place we have sine mx minus nx all over 2 let's also factor out x so when we factor out x we're going to have sine m minus n all over 2 in bracket x you get it good so here we're going to say let m plus n all over 2 be called a letter and then let's use letter p and then again let this m minus n all over 2 be called a letter let's say letter q all right good so if we replace m plus n all over 2 with a letter and m minus n all over 2 with a letter p and q respectively that means we are going to have minus 2 limit as x approaches 0 sine px times sine qx all over x squared you get it right good so here it's still the same thing as saying minus 2 limit as x approaches 0 sine px all over x times sine qx all over x it's still the same is that true so numerator multiplied by numerator and denominator multiplied by denominator still going to give us sine px multiplied by sine qx all over x squared is that true yes now let's go 
it's still the same thing as saying minus 2 open bracket limit as x approaches 0 sine px all over x times limit as x approaches 0 sine qx all over x is that true yes now and you discover that anywhere we have limit as x approaches 0 sine x all over x is equal to what 1 and when we have limit as x approaches 0 sine px all over x is equal to p and here we have limit as x approaches 0 sine qx all over x is equal to q so here we have minus 2 open bracket p times q because limit as x approaches 0 sine px all over x is equal to p and limit as x approaches 0 sine qx all over x is equal to q so here we have minus 2 upper bracket p times q so we we'll multiply this is going to give us minus 2 p q minus 2 p q you get it good but you remember that m plus n all over 2 is equal to p and m minus n all over 2 is equal to q now let's replace it when we replace it we are going to have minus 2 open bracket m plus n all over 2 times m minus n all over 2 you get it so here we have minus 2 open bracket m plus n all over 2 in bracket and then times m minus n all over 2 so here when we say m plus n all over 2 it's still the same thing as say 1 all over 2 multiplied by m plus n hello when we say m plus n all over 2 it's still the same thing as say 1 all over 2 multiplied by m plus n and then in the second one it's still the same thing as saying 1 all over 2 multiplied by m minus n. When you open this bracket, it will give you the same thing as above. Okay? Good. So here we have minus 2, open bracket, 1 all over 2 in bracket m plus n, close the bracket, times 1 all over 2, open bracket, m minus n in bracket. Okay? Good. So this 1 all over 2 inside this big bracket multiply each other that means we have 1 all over 2 times 1 all over 2 which is equal to 1 all over 4 so let's keep it by the side so that means here we have minus 2 open bracket 1 all over 4 open bracket m plus n times m minus n so if we multiply these two brackets m plus n multiply by m minus n is going to give us m square minus n square hello it's going to give us m square minus n square that is difference of two square okay good so here when we say minus two times one all over four what is going to give us it's going to give us minus two all over four and then minus 2 all over 4 is the same thing as say minus 1 all over 2. So here we have minus 1 all over 2, open bracket, m square minus n square. Okay? So if we use minus to open the bracket, that means we are going to have 1 all over 2, open bracket, when we say minus 1 times m square is going to give us minus m square. And minus 1 times minus n square is going to give us plus n square so here we have 1 all over 2 open bracket minus m square plus n square so when we rearrange the bracket the content of this bracket we are going to have 1 all over 2 open bracket n square minus m square hello so the limit lim as x approaches 0 cos mx minus cos nx all over x squared is equal to 
1 all over 2 n square minus m squared all right yes thank you very much for watching please before you go if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please do so click the subscribe button like our video share and stay blessed thank you